Hi, this is Julius and Paula, and you're watching Galooey's Mood Food. Let's go tempt your taste buds. Hey everybody, today we're going to make a peach cherry phyllo tart. And here's how you do it. Alright, we get peaches. You can get fresh. When they're in season, they're absolutely wonderful. If they're not in season, you can still do it. You get frozen peaches. That's what we're going to use today. Frozen peaches. Alright, so you take your peaches and you keep some in reserve. And what you want to get for um, the tart that we're making and the size that we're making, and I'll get to that a little bit later, is two pounds, uh, one pound packages of frozen peaches. Let them thaw overnight in a colander, and it should look something like this. And you keep that dish underneath. And what you want to do is hang on to those juices from the peaches, and you save your reserve peaches, just a handful, and we'll show you why in a little bit. You put that aside, you get your peaches and you cut them up into pieces. You don't leave them in the slices that they are for the tart, just because how we like them, you know. In chunks, and they should look like this. Nice, beautiful chunks of peaches. All right, then you get your, your cherries. Rainer cherries right now are in, and they are absolutely wonderful. So we got a handful of Rainer cherries to go into the tart, the phyllo tart. Anyway, they just make my mouth water. So what you do is you get your cherries, and you just squeeze them because they are so big and beautiful and plump. And you just break them up. Take that seed out. And just break them by hand. There's no knife needed or anything of that nature. And you go from there. And like I said, you get yourself about a handful of those to go in the tart. So here we go. We're working on the last one right now. See how easy the seeds come out? Okay, we're going to push some to the sides. Got yourself a beautiful bowl of a handful of Rainer cherries. Peaches go into a bowl. Alright, we got this gorgeous, gorgeousness of peaches right here. You put your cherries in with it. Mix them up. If you want to be a little bit more, you know, classy or high dollar, use your spatula. If not, God's given gift works well. Just mix them up by hand. Mix those two together. We're going to set the board aside here. After you get those mixed, what you want to do, wipe your hands a little bit. Dry them off. A little bit of sugar. A couple pinches full of sugar. Add on in there to the peaches and the rain of cherries. There we go. Close that down right there. Keep it right there just in case you need it. That's the sugar. Gotta rinse the fingers again. Sorry, I do a lot of things here like this of this nature. So I'll take your spatula, stir that in. And what you want to do is you want to get you a cream cheese fruit dip. It's sweetened already. Alright. Take about a fourth to a half of a cup. Start with that first. Mix it in. Oh, that's looking great. 
check it out. Alright, then what you want to do, and it's your little thing, is you want to get a spoon. I don't have any little ones on hand right now. So I'm just going to, I'll be dainty about this. I'm just going to take one peach on a big giant spoon. Taste of the flavor. Oh, it's wonderful. I think it's good just the way it is right now. And you can eat it as is right now. But we're going to take it one step further, and we are going to make a phyllo tart out of all this greatness right here. See you back in a few. Hey, and next up on our peach cherry phyllo tart is you get a 9 by 9 pan, and you get some spray to coat. Set it aside. In the meantime, that right there. Meantime, crack one egg. You want the white only, but reserve the yellow. You can throw it in your omelet and, and your breakfast in the morning. Put that in there. There we go. Put that aside. All right, you're going to take a little sugar now. So we need a sugar spoon. You're going to add a little sugar, not a great deal, to your egg white, and you're going to whisk. You're going to have your phyllo dough, which comes in... Um, a one pound package in your freezer section and it comes in two rolls of phyllo dough. You're going to use one of those. So take it out the day before and thaw it in your refrigerator. Not on the counter, in your refrigerator and it'll be ready. So there's your egg white with a little sugar for your wash. And you take your pan that's already been pre-sprayed Here's your phyllo dough. I unrolled a package of it. Now, when you use phyllo dough, if you don't use it quick enough, you got to keep a moist towel on it to keep it moist. But a lot of people do. We don't because we don't get real particular about using one sheet, one sheet, one sheet. Use a couple of sheets at a time. Put those sheets down in, and you get yourself a brush, and you take your egg wash, and you brush it. You don't have to really worry, it doesn't have to be that thick, but you don't need it that thin, that paper thin, for this particular tart. But you do need the egg wash, you need the sugar in it. And you do that. And if you can get a little bit down in between the layers, that's fine. If you can't, don't worry about it. No biggie. And if they don't come out exactly perfect, no biggie either. It all works. This thing just pulls together beautifully. So there's one layer right there. Take another one or two, three sheets. After you get that sugar and egg on there, and you put this one down the opposite way, and you do the egg wash on this one as well. There we go. See, nothing fancy, but absolutely delicious. So from here, what we're going to do is Stir up our peach mixture a little bit here. Beautiful again as it is. Tastes great just the way it is. But we're going to take it that step further. So you pour that in. Get all that 
creamy goodness out of there. All that flavor. And just push it around there. Smooth it out even. Take the edges of your tart that are hanging over and you tuck them down in. Okay, and after you fold the ends over and in on top of the peaches and the cherries, you do a little bit more egg wash around the phyllo dough. And you get another couple of sheets. Take them a little thinner this time and maybe one, two at a time. Again, they don't have to be perfect. Put them in, kind of tuck them down in and around and in the edges. Seal that off. That's just one side of it. And put a little more egg wash on. And get yourself another layer here. And you put that on. That's the other side coming towards me. That's one. There's two. Just tuck them down in. Lift a little bit if you like. And then a little more egg wash. All right. Okay, and we're going to finish up with the phyllo dough, and um, that's half of a 16 ounce, one pound package, it's one roll. So you put your next layer on after your egg wash, put that on, get you a little more egg wash, do that up. And remember again, with your egg wash, you had to beat some sugar into the egg whites and reserve your yolk. All right, this is it right here. Last layer, folks. And boy, when this comes out, oh, you'll be wanting a bite of this. Put the last of your egg wash on. Make sure you get all that goodness on there. And then what you want to do from there is take a knife and just poke some breathing holes in it to let the steam escape so it doesn't blow up and run over on you. There you go. Take this and then you put a little bit of sugar on it. All right. Oh, got some dough on my finger. Take a little bit of sugar and you sprinkle over it. It helps with the egg wash and it gives it a really, really nice browning effect and a little bit of crispiness to it all and the goodness and sweet. There we go. So you, you don't have to preheat your oven for this either. You take it and you put it on roughly about 275, 300 depending on your oven for about 30, 40 minutes and keep an eye on it in the meantime. Put it on the rack, the upper rack. Keep an eye on it. Check it. Rotate it. Wait till it's beautiful, golden brown, bubbly. And we'll go from there with the sauce. We're going to make you a sauce that goes over this. We're not quite done with it yet. But you can do it and it's going to taste fabulous. Okay, to go with our delicious phyllo tart, I'm going to show you how to make a really refreshing, cool drink to go along with it. And we call it uh, Cran O Beer Cooler. <laughs> so what you do first, you start with a glass of ice and you want to rinse the ice off because if you don't, uh, when you pour your beer in, you're going to have a cup of foam. So we're going to just rinse this off real quick. 
pour the excess water off. You want to take your favorite beer. You want to fill it about two thirds of the way full with beer. Hey ho! And then the rest you want to put some cranberry juice in there. Oh, look at that. This is so delicious and refreshing. It goes great with the tart. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Keep with us. Uh, we're going to show you how to make the sauce for the tart. Can the oh. cameraman have some? Oh, oh sure. The cameraman's got to have some. Okay, here we go. Let's see the arms of the cameraman. <laughs> Mm. Okay, back to you. Okay, stick around. We're going to show you how to make the um, the glazing and the for the uh, tart. Stick around. Oops, <clears throat> busted just a little bit. Drinking my Crano beer cooler. Very refreshing. Try it. It's a great recipe. You'll love it, you really will. Uh, so from here with our peach, cherry, phyllo tart, what we're gonna do next is take our peaches that are remaining, our juice that has drained off of them, we're gonna take some Chardonnay, yes, we cook with it all, folks, and some sugar, all right? And we're gonna put it in a blender. So here's how it's gonna go. You take your remainder of peaches, Put them in the blender. Juice. Look at all that good stuff right there. Okay, from the pizza. Sorry about the noise. It happens, you know. Some sugar. And it's to your taste, whatever you'd like, you know? There's no, there's no measurements in what we do. It's really your taste. We'll give you a guideline. So that was three teaspoons of sugar for us. And you take your Chardonnay. One. Two. Maybe just a dash more. And remember, it cooks out. So all you're going to get is a flavor. You're not going to get the alcohol. You're just going to get the flavor. Blend it. You got to blend it good. Take it from that state. Once everything's blended really well together. Alright. Give it a little taste first. Make sure it's sufficient. Tastes great. All right, put your burner on. Pour your mixture in, and what you want to do is reduce this down. Let it cook on low, medium to low, and then check it, and then turn it down to low. But you want to reduce this down to uh, basically like a simple syrup would be. It's a syrup, and it's going to go over that tart that phyllo tart. So, um, I'll put that aside. Put a lid here. I'm going to have a little bit more Crano beer while I keep an eye on this. And I'm also going to check my tart. Okay, well, let me have my little bit of Crano beer cooler. I'm going to check my tart. Okay, getting a little bit golden on top, slightly. Turn it. Okay, and after half the time has gone off on your timer, you want to check your phyllo tart, and you want to rotate it in there. And you also want to turn it up to approximately 325. 
and set it for another 15 minutes or so but keep an eye on it in the meantime and right now it's looking great and you keep an eye on this check it occasionally for your simple syrup you have your cocktail in the meantime and we'll check you back in just a few with everything else that's going on when the tart comes out of the oven with your cocktail and your simple syrup okay back to the tart here we go dun, 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 dun. this is what it's looking like right now check it out a beautiful golden blonde golden brown but what you want to do is shut your oven off from here put this back in on the top rack set your timer for eight to ten minutes that way everything's done completely in the meantime that sauce that we were talking about with our peaches our chardonnay our sugar and the liquid from the peaches it should start thickening up and should start looking like this real syrupy but what you want to do in the meantime is maybe halfway through um, which we have done uh, is is turn it up to a high heat but you gotta stand guard over it you really have to watch it you don't want it to burn and you gotta stir it frequently till it gets thick like a simple syrup would and once it's done which it is it's been boiling for I don't know maybe eight ten minutes or so itself set it to the side let it cool while your tart is finishing up in the oven when it's done you're going to bring it out set it up top kind of keep it warm but this here in itself won't be boiling anymore but notice how my crano beer has gone down <laughs> it's delicious <laughs> Okay, uh, once your tart comes out of the oven, you let it rest for a while. You let the syrup glaze, slash glaze, rest for a while. This is what your beautiful peach, cherry, phyllo tart should look like on top. This is what your glaze should look like. About the consistency of. So where we go from here is, we're going to cut a square out of here. And this can feed two, it can feed four, it can feed six. It just depends on, you know, what you want. <laughs> so you can take it out with, you go all around the tart like this with a knife, just to loosen everything up. Just loosen it up. Okay. Once it's loosened, I say go for a spoon. You can do a spatula if you like. Get yourself a plate. Get in there and get you some out. Oh, see, it's wanting to hang on to the other piece right now. So I'm just going to break it with my fingers and take out what I can. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I lick my fingers. Then you take a little bit of the glaze and you pour over it. And then some vanilla ice cream. right on the side just like that you can get a little bit more if you like there you go and you can take a little bit more of the glaze because there's a lot here and you can be generous with it and you pour it over the ice cream 
There's your dessert. Hey, Julius. You yeah. ready for some dessert? I am ready for some dessert Come over there. Come on in and get you some. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching. You've been watching. Galooey's Mood Food. Stop back anytime because this is... It's easy to do and you can too. See you next time, y'all. Take care. Take care.